<sighs> you know what's really getting up my nose? People who act like they can just go outside with their animals and do whatever they want with them. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. You know, I wouldn't obviously begin any of my YouTube vlogs that way for real. That was just me being facetious. Anyway, this is um, Andre's YouTube vlog for July 28th, 2012. And actually, the issue that I just brought up is actually what I wanted to discuss, but <laughs> not in that way. Um, I had a conversation with my family the other night about animals. Now, all one has to do, especially in the state of Maine, is go to um, any uh, hiking trail or any coastal or beach area, and you'll commonly see signs saying uh, no animals allowed or no animals allowed off a leash. And that means dogs. And, of course, you go to these places, and you find dogs and dogs off leashes, wherever the signs are. And people walking around as if they're proud to break the law. And, you know, everywhere you step, you know, you st step in, um, you know, dog excretion. It's everywhere, you know. And I want to be able to go outside and not step in doggy do. And I'm sure that a lot of dog owners feel the same way. Now, about a year and a half ago, I was visiting with a friend of mine who was an animal lover, and he had a friend over who was also an animal lover as well, and I discussed this particular issue with them, and I was immediately told, if you do not love animals in the way that we do, there's something wrong with you. Well, that was extremely interesting to me. I mean... How many times have I been to a person's house or heard of somebody else going to a person's house and had a dog there who would hump the leg of the guests, who would bark all through the evening, and who would actually eat kitty litter out of the cat litter box? As disgusting as that sounds, as disgusting as that sounds, that happens all the time. Now, I myself, I consider myself a lover of the planet Earth and a lover of animals. I do not personally own a pet, but I do not eat veal because I don't approve of the inhumane treatment of uh, infant cows. Now, I am a meat eater. I am a meat eater, but I want to make sure that the meat I eat is free range and safe and organic and healthy as possible. I mean, animals eat meat in the wild. Um, I'm not in disapproval of vegetarianism, but, you know, I'm very moderate that way. But there are so many interesting contradictions with people when it comes to animals. People will say to me things like, oh, you don't love animals. Yet they will go out and hunt, a lot of them, and they will take hunting dogs. And if they shoot a bird, they will have the dog go do the work for them. Or even so, even so, they'll kill animals in the wild, but disapprove of people killing dogs. How's that for thinking? They'll talk about, oh, we don't eat at a Chinese restaurant because they eat dogs. We'll eat meat we hunt. You know, so I want to tell everybody who are animal lovers or call themselves animal lovers out there, please, with all your contradictions and all your slips a phrase. Do not criticize me when I say this. If we have dogs for pets, should we allow them to do the things that we would never allow our human children to do? Should we allow them to excrete on our floors? Should we allow them to misbehave in public? And justify it by saying, that, oh, they're our babies. And I'm going to say this once and for all. And this may offend a lot of you out there, but if it does, I am extremely sorry. Cats and dogs and goldfish and gerbils and rats and mice and spiders and whatever pet you happen to have are not your babies. All right? They do not share your genetic material. Okay? You did not physically give birth to them. Um, they are not even your adopted children. They are your pets. They are a different species. They go by a different thought process and a different way of interpreting life than we do. If we treat them exactly like human beings, 
then it is a form of prejudice. It is. We are assuming in our arrogance that these creatures, in order to be appreciated by us, must have qualities like us. We do that to other humans on this planet, you know. We try to impart qualities of ourselves on them and say, if you take on these qualities, we will like you. That's what conquerors try to do, and that's what they've been trying to do in history. So I repeat again. Domestic animals are not your babies. They are not your children. And if you feel like it, and that's the way you feel about the situation, that's the mirror looking back at you. It's here. It has nothing to do with the animal. And if the animal misbehaves consequently, it's time to re-examine the priorities of your life. Because is it really worth it? Take a walk out in the beauty of nature and step in animal excretion that never needed to be there? It's true. It really is. Andre's YouTube vlog, signing out.